All right. So let's just talk about where you were at in your life last time you were on the podcast. It was the schema posse interview, but like by the time the interview came out, the group had already sort of d- dissolved, at least, at least in the sense that you and Lil Peep were in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was visiting LA at that time. Like I was staying in, uh, my boy Brendan Savage's house, who's mm-hmm. my roommate now. And, um, I was just staying in Pasadena for like a month, just kind of getting the feel for LA before I like moved out there permanently mm-hmm. and stuff. And it was just, we kind of talked about it there, but it was like literally a house full of like fucking SoundCloud fi- rappers. Yeah, just 15 of us just like in this tiny ass room. It was pretty cool. It was fun. Mm-hmm. But um, a lot's changed since then. Like all of us have just uh, sort of progressed in our own little way. He, he was there too, Wavy Jones. Fucking uh, shout out to Wavy Jones, who we yeah. also hear, and Max. Got it. Max Beck. Um, but yeah, that was like, that was like sort of just when I was getting my feelers for like, um, you know, LA and everything. And then mm-hmm. it, it's kind of what made me decide to just just take the leap and just move out here and say fuck it, even though I didn't have any money at the time. Right. But uh, yeah. so so that unit of you being in Schema Posse that was very temporary, or how long did that last? Uh, I mean, by that interview, like I had already been in it for like a year, okay. a year plus or something. Let me get the uh, phone audio off, boys. I don't know who that was. That wasn't me either. Everybody's denying it. Kevin, I see you. Um, <laughs> but so so you you were really rocking it for like a year, but then what? It just didn't really end up working um, out. And... Yeah, I mean, it just like I, I mean, on my end, I had no like hard feelings at all. Like I just I just figured like. You know, me personally as an individual artist would, you know, we were better as separate artists, I guess, kind of growing in our own way. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just didn't want to really, really be boxed in any kind of like group or specific movement. Um, I kind of wanted to be looked at as just myself and kind of everything I do. I thought it was kind of cool from a uh, like uh, mystery point of view. It's like, oh, who is Ghost Man? Who is Little Peep? They sat on that interview and they were basically silent. What, what is their deal? Yeah, yeah, it's good. yeah. It worked in that way. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. I mean, that's the silver lining that I'm trying to invent in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. There's a good side to everything.